Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. Pipe on the Patio. Tonight I am smoking my Meerschaum Sultan, which when you look at that pipe, kind of looks like mutton chop when you really look at it. I uh, got this one from Market TPI. Uh, he threw this pipe in when I bought a pipe from him. That's the kind of guy he is. And I am smoking some Haunted Pirate Ship today. I want to do a quick shout out here to a channel I've been just watching, binge watching lately. Um, Zippo Fanatic 77. Uh, the guy's name is Mike. If you're into Zippos at all, like, like I am, I'm a huge Zippo collector. This guy is just so knowledgeable. He's got a great channel and if you want to know anything about Zippos, how to repair them, how to, if you have a loose hinge on your Zippo, he's got a video on how to fix it. If you've got a Zippo hinge that's, a uh, lid that's loose, um, maybe closes off center, he's got a video how to fix it. Uh, if you want to know how to replace your cotton in your, your Zippo, He's got a great video on this uh, new cotton called Cotton Bacon. And this cotton is, it's an organic cotton. And I guess it's made for, for vaping. But he says if you replace your, your rayon cotton in your Zippo with this organic cotton bacon, that your fluid will last two times as long in your Zippo. And I've been, I, I went out today looking for it. I couldn't find it in California, where I live. In my town here, anyway. And they told me that uh, the guy I, I asked about it, he said, no, we can't get it here. Uh, for some some reason, they're not allowed to have anything he said RDF related. I don't know what RDF stands for here, but some California regulation. They can't get it. But uh, it's available through Amazon. You can get it. It's uh, just called organic cotton. Uh, but I will be replacing my, my uh, cotton in all my Zippos. And... Uh, I'll be reporting back to you guys on how, what a difference, if any, it makes in my Zippos. But he's getting like 12 days, and he smokes cigarettes, so he's lighting constantly. He's getting like 12 days to a, a fill up on his, his lighter. And he's lighting 30, 40, 50 times a day, he says. And he filled up his Zippo on, on his video one night when I was watching a live video. And he filled it up and it just kept taking fluid and taking fluid and taking fluid and taking fluid and taking fluid. And, taking fluid. and it didn't puddle up on the, the top like it does on the rayon. It just kept soaking the fluid up. So it leads me to believe that it holds a lot more fluid. The the uh, organic cotton is much more absorbent. I was fascinated by that anyway. And uh, but Mike's a good guy, and he, I consider him a good friend. And I'll put a link to his channel below. If you haven't checked out Zippo Fanatic seventy seven, check him out. He's a great guy really great guy super nice dude and uh, 
just so willing to, to give out all his knowledge to anybody who asks. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just thrilled to have him as a friend. And, and uh, I just want to share him with all you guys who are Zippo fanatics because he's a Zippo fanatic. And uh, he's fun. His live streams are a lot of fun. And uh, but if you go to his channel and just watch his videos, you will learn so dang much about Zippos. And uh, he's just a great guy. Check him out, Zippo Fanatic seventy seven. Put the link down in the description below. Just hit the little down arrow, and it'll open up, and you'll see his description and his link to his channel. Go subscribe him. So it has been a long time since I have smoked this haunted pirate ship, which is 50% haunted bookshop and 50% uh, pirate cake. Blanked on that one for a second. And this is from... <laughs> I mixed this up um, a month ago, or a year ago, 11-2019, and it is fantastic. It's uh, 60 degrees out here right now. It's really nice. No wind. No wind at all. I mean, there's a slight little breeze, but nothing that's really blowing. Things are going good here. Moves coming along. House is coming along good. Meersham's getting a little warm. We just slow down a little bit here. Mm -hmm. so I need to clean this Meersham up on the outside and wax it up a little bit, I think. It's getting kind of dry on the outside. Little, little rough and dirty. So 
I have a mixture of beeswax and mineral oil that I, I rub on my pipes, my, my, bee, my uh, briar pipes and stems and buff them up with that. I, I put that on my meerschaums as well and it really helps to keep them nice and shiny and helps draw up the color a little more. So I need to do that with this one here. This one's kind of looking dull. Today's Zippo that I'm using is my 1941, 1941 Zippo. It's a, uh, it's a reissue. It's actually from 19, 2013. It's a 2013 reissue of a 1941. I also have my original 1958 here that you can see is pretty worn. It's uh, one of my favorite Zippos right there. I always have at least two Zippos out here with me just in case one runs out of fuel. So I'm always prepared. And my 58 is about due to be refilled it's running low here but my 41 I just filled up last night so it's it doesn't have a pipe cleaner I mean a pipe uh, lighter in it it's just a regular lighter and that what I bought years ago on a road trip when I was going to Sturgis, my band was playing in Sturgis, and uh, I stopped on a at a gas station in Wyoming and bought that Zippo in Wyoming. And I just opened the box up yesterday and took the Zippo out and filled it up. So I didn't have a 1941 that I used. And so this was just a plain 1941 street. finish so I 
And I like the 40 ones because they open all the way flat against the body. Ah. That was not good. Like the, the old ones do. That they open up all the way. But the newer ones they have an opening they don't qu quite open all the way against the body there's an opening there as you can see And I like when they open all the way up like that. So I want to get an armor. Zippo has a, a lighter out called the armor and it's a thicker Zippo. I don't have one of those. I want to get one of those. So that's my next Zippo that I'll be getting is an armor. But I've got I think I'm close to 150 Zippos now that I've been collecting since 94. I think I bought my first, my first Zippo I bought in 1994 when I started smoking a pipe. Actually, it may have been before that, actually. It may have been 92. I think it was 92 I bought my first one. Before I, I wasn't even smoking anything. I bought a Zippo just to carry a Zippo. It reminded me of my dad. And he had passed away in 85, 86. And uh, and he always had a zippo and um. I just always remembered that clicking. You'd always be clicking it. And I loved that sound. I just loved that sound, you know. So I bought one and filled it up and carried it with me. And just, I always had a Zippo in my pocket. never smoked. But at that time... And just never knew when you might need fire, you know. And back then, I used to do a lot of camping and stuff like that, going out shooting. And you just never knew when you're going to need fire, so I always had Zippo with me. And little fuel canister with me so I was always ready always 
collected all kinds of lighters before I started focusing, you know, on Zippos mostly. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've got a bunch of different lighters, but the majority of my lighters are Zippos. Just because I love Zippos, you know. Anyway, check out Zippo Fanatic 77. Click the link. And you will not be sorry. If you're into Zippos at all, it's a must-have channel. And he's a good dude, man. Really good guy. So I will talk to you guys later. God bless. Have a good day. Love you guys.